Corny J. I'm gonna take everything off in the center and right behind her front leg. Okay. And I wanna take off everything underneath so she has separation between her legs and her underline. Okay, and you can see I'm leaving definite legs. Come up by, by her throat area. Come here. Come on. Come on. And I find where her Adam's apple is. I'm going to start right underneath the Adam's apple. Maybe. <laughs> Come on back. Come here. She goes, I like looking like a lion instead. Stay. 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 Good girl. And I'm gonna take off everything in between her front legs, but I'm gonna blend into the top of her front legs on the chest by the point of shoulder down. Whoops, thank you. Take all of this off around her neck, right about behind her ears. So what we give her, we're gonna give her what I like to call like a little sunshine face. Because these to me this breed smiles anyway with their eyes. So when you make a nice little round face, it, I call it a sunshine face. It really isn't. But I find a lot of my palm people that want their dogs cut short really seem to enjoy this trim on them. I don't like to go shorter than that because exposing more of the skin in the summertime months, you take more chance of the dog getting sunburn, insect bites. And this way, at least there is some protection from the sun. Okay. What blade did you use? Um, on her, I used the 30 with the number one snap-on comb on top. And if they very, very knotted. And but a dog like this, the only thing that really should be very knotted is their, is their pants area. This up here, that's all undercoat that somebody's not getting out of the coat. I have yet to see a, a palm matted in their coat, in their body coat. In their back pants, yes. But body, that's all undercoat that somebody has not removed from that dog. Okay, and then if that dog keeps getting bathed with all that undercoat in, yes, then it's going to become impacted. And then it's very hard to get out. You have to brush and comb this dog out very well. Before bathing. Before bathing, or use a very good high velocity dryer to help bring all that dead stuff to the surface. Okay? Okay, so let's get our other side cut down. All right, turn this way. And come down the way the coat grows. Again, we're gonna just blend into her hip. We're gonna keep that hair there. We're gonna scissor that. Nothing underneath. Okay. And we'll fix the other side of her neck and her head. Okay, turn around. There you go, little girl. Okay. I, I left some behind the ears because I'm going to scissor this. Because I'm going to make a nice round little face with this. So I need to leave room for my scissor work. 